Donald Trump at the center of a new firestorm tonight. It's about one of the most powerful moments of the Democratic Convention, those Muslim parents of a fallen American soldier, the father delivering a pointed speech aimed directly at Trump. But now Trump's response in a one-on-one -on -one interview with George Stephanopoulos, drawing outrage from liberal and conservative critics alike. ABC's Mary Bruce has more. Tonight, Donald Trump is sparking outrage and disgust with his response to this grieving father. We are honored to stand here as parents of Captain Himayun Khan. It was the most raw, emotional moment of the convention, Khazir Khan offering this searing rebuke of Trump. You have sacrificed nothing and no one. Humayun Khan, an army captain, the son of Muslim immigrants, died serving his nation in Iraq. His father challenging Trump. Let me ask you, have you even read the United States Constitution? I will gladly lend you my copy. Tonight, Trump responding in an exclusive interview with George Stephanopoulos, saying that, like the cons, he too has sacrificed. I think I've made a lot of sacrifices. Uh, I work very, very hard. I've created thousands and thousands of jobs, tens of thousands of jobs, uh, built great structures. I've done, I've had, I've had tremendous success. Uh, I think Those I've done a lot. Those are sacrifices? Oh, sure, I think they're sacrifices. And pointing a finger at Captain Khan's mother, suggesting Ghazala Khan did not speak because she was forbidden by her faith. If you look at his wife, she was standing there. She had nothing to say. She probably, maybe she wasn't allowed to have anything to say. The real reason, she tells us, all-consuming grief. I was in pain, and all America felt that pain. I was so much into that. I gave them this pain. And Cecilia, tonight, it's not just the cons who are upset. On social media, the response to Trump's comments has been explosive and furious. Trending right now on Twitter, the hashtag made a lot of sacrifice. Cecilia. Mary Bruce, thank you. And you can see George's entire interview with Donald Trump tomorrow on This Week.